is Ram Cunningham. I'm with Things to Do in FortSmith.com, and I love Fort Smith out loud. And Phil Blackburn from First Presbyterian Church, and I love Fort Smith out loud. Y yo soy Alex Sanchez de Harvest Bank, y yo amo a Fort Smith a gritos. Yes! Yes! I love it! Fantastic. Well, Alex, thanks for letting us stop by. We're here in the uh, beautiful Harvest Tower here in Fort Smith. Got a, got a bird's eye view of Fort Smith behind us, so we're very happy to be here. Uh, another episode of Fort Smith Out Loud. This is where Phil and I go around and uh, we find like-minded uh, individuals as ourselves that, that love Fort Smith, that love Fort Smith Out Loud, that that see things that are, that, are, that are great about Fort Smith, what they'd like to see for Fort Smith, and you know, we just have a conversation. Yep. So, uh, you know, Alex, you're up, you're up next. So tell us a little right. bit, how long have you been in Fort Smith and kind of what you do here at Arvest? You know, I've been in Fort Smith a little over 30 years. Wow, great. Um, so, I've, you know, if I didn't love Fort Smith out loud, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> right. um, so yeah, I've been here for uh, a little over 30 years. Um, and I mean, Fort Smith has got a great history. Um, I love its people. Um, there's just so much uh, history behind it, um, and, and and I love about uh, I love about uh, uh, that about Fort Smith. Um, it is so great to see uh, different people from many different backgrounds um, coming together to you know, basically do the same we do. Love Fort Smith out loud. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and that's the reason why we're here. So, uh, you know, you've been here over 30 years. I've been here almost 20 years. Phil, how long have you been in this area? Oh, six and a half. Six I mean, and a half. So you're, guy. you're the new guy in town. Right. I just found the mall yesterday. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Did you know we had a mall? Uh, we, we do. We have a mall. Oh, that's right amazing. There, right behind us. Like two thirds of a mall. Right, right exactly. <laughs> well, we're here, you know, the community is always something that comes up uh, when, when we ask people about Fort Smith and community is huge. You know, Alex, something that makes you proud. You've been here 30 years, so surely there's something that makes you proud to be in Fort Smith. You know, um, the, the infrastructure, the economic development that is going on in Fort Smith, it just makes you proud to, to be part of it. Uh, both ends of Fort Smith, when we're talking about downtown, we're talking about Chaffee Crossing, so proud of everything that's going on. Uh, we got the medical school, we got the, the trails downtown, which uh, Ram and I use quite often. That's right. Well, I'm not sure if, if <laughs> I, 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 I don't go outside. <laughs> <laughs> But it's just so proud of, of being, you know, being a part of it. Um, and, and it's, you know, we've got uh, a lot of different projects going on. Mm -hmm. um, and and if, you, if you're really not proud of, of living here, um, I mean, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> and there's a way out. You could go. Yeah. You can, you can just get on the five, interstate and go. Forty. Get you five forty. Five <laughs> forty. <laughs> well, you know, this community is such a dotting community, and, and I'm just gonna just real quick tell my short story of of why I'm so proud of Fort Smith and why I'm proud I live here. There's many, many reasons, but something most recently, uh, when it comes down to community and community support, uh, last week, like an idiot, uh, had my bike stolen from my Jeep because I didn't lock it. My fault completely. I made a snarky post on Facebook thinking it's gone forever. Mountain bike season's here. Yeah. Uh, that post then got shared by the biking community, which we have a great biking community here. Of course, I filed a police report and I did all that. Chalked it up as it being gone. Uh, five hours later, got a call from the cops that they had the guy in custody and they oh, had my oh. bike. I mean, it took five hours, you know, and it's just, it's unbelievable. The, Kind of, and I was sick that day, so I didn't really have time to do anything. I just put a post and went to sleep, and my phone just started blowing up, and someone took a picture of it, like, is this your bike? The guy apparently posted it online for sale. Oh. Oh. So, <laughs> so, anyway, but the point is, is the people that came together as a community. I mean, this community comes together yeah. so many times. I mean, Alex, you and I are, are part of Step Up, Speak Out, and, what, and that's coming up here in a few months. Yes, uh, it is. But just community is, is one reason I am so proud to be in Fort Smith. Yeah, absolutely. There's so many good things about it, and... That's one of the reasons we started this, was mm -hmm. to celebrate all the positive things about Fort Smith. Alex, what's a, what's a dream you have for Fort Smith? Uh, you know, the dream would be for all these projects to be completed. We're talking about the Marshalls Museum, we're talking about uh, all the, um, all the uh, buildings at Chaffee, all the trails, mm -hmm. uh, and then finally, so, the dream is for, for someone to say, Hey, let's go to Fort Smith and spend a day. Yeah, right. Let's go running on those trails that are brand new. Um, you know, instead of 
instead of saying, hey, let's go to Tulsa and you know go yeah, spend right. a day or go to Northwest Arkansas or whatever, stay right here. Mm -hmm. Go to Fort Smith. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, let's let's take a trip. Go to the Marshalls Museum. Uh, let's go take a walk on the on the uh, trails by the river. Right. Uh, that's the dream. Um, and and really all this. Um, uh, economic development and, and, and the people in Fort Smith are the ones that are making it happen. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, folks like you, folks like you, we're the ones that mm -hmm. getting these projects uh, going and, and putting our two cents worth mm -hmm. of, of getting it done. You know, some people just like to sit behind the keyboard and, and kind of talk about it. You know, I like to see people out there taking action, you know, exactly. doing things about that. Well, what are, what are some things maybe that you participate in? I know you're on, you and I are on several boards, but some things that you kind of do to kind of hope that dream comes to reality. You know, what are some things that you do? You know, I, I mean, you, you, you touched a, a little bit on it. Stay involved. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I stay involved with n not only with the community. Um, you know, I attend many events. Uh, I know we've seen uh, all, all all three of us have taken part on different events, but when I'm out running, um, you know, if I see a piece of trash, I stop and pick it up, put it in the trash. Sure. Uh, be proud of, of where you live. You know, you've got people coming in, visiting, we've got companies recruiting people. Um, do your share. Yeah. Uh, and every, every little bit helps. Uh, nothing is too small mm -hmm. when it comes to helping out the community uh, and being proud of it. Well, what, like, let's say somebody's watching this and they think to themselves, I've never really been involved in the Fort Smith community before. Uh, you know, we've talked about being on boards, not everybody, that's not for everybody. Right. Um, what, what do you think is a small thing, a gateway drug, <laughs> if you will, Alex, to uh, involvement in the broader kind of Fort Smith civic community? You know, I, I think as little as just going to an event. Yes. You know, we've got different that. festivals mm -hmm. uh, for different types mm -hmm. of people. Um, you know, we've got different uh, venues. Mm -hmm. Just go to an event, uh, experience what we have here locally. Yeah. Right. Um, and like I said earlier, you don't have to travel outside. No. You know. Right. Well, and like uh, right here. Thursday morning, uh, Thursday the twenty first. You know, Chief Clark will be at Sweet Bay for an hour. Mm -hmm. There you uh, go. Seven thirty to eight thirty. I mean, your police chief is sitting at a local coffee house. There, if you have any questions or if you just want to share sure. uh, a good story about the police call, because they got <laughs> there, right? Be there. <laughs> Thanks, Chief hey guys, Clark. You, guys you know, it. and I think that's one of the things I love about Fort Smith is it's it's a larger town. I mean, it's a good sized town, but it still has some of those small town vibes Absolutely. to it. For sure. Like we talk about seeing sure. each other when we go to various things, and if you get involved in stuff, it kind of snowballs a little bit because you start to see people again and again and you build relationships mm -hmm. and that opens new doors for, for anybody really to participate in what's happening regardless of your, your economic status right. or anything oh, yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I think, you know, just show up, show up, yeah, show up. There's so much going on and that's, that's, that's great you said that, Alex. There's so much going on here and I think the smallest thing you can do is if you just show up. You, you hit on this a couple weeks ago when we were talking to the ladies at Bookish, yep. you know, to you know, support local and go out and do local. Go exactly. out and go to that event, go to Hailsford Trails, go to, you know, the hundreds of events that we yep. have here and they're you know, great events. We yes. had the uh, Fort Smith Marathon. Mm -hmm. yes. um, if you're not a runner, we could have used you as a volunteer. Absolutely. Yeah. Needed for uh, I know the weather was horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, it was great, sunny and 80 in my head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaking of trash earlier, it's funny that we talked about running in trash. I literally, uh, on, while I was running in the marathon, I almost slipped on a banana peel. <laughs> I am not even kidding. I didn't stop and pick it up, but I'm yeah. like, what well, that's like? That's weird. That's, that's the real thing out there. It's a banana yeah, yeah. peel. So. It's like being in Three Stooges. <laughs> it really yeah. was. It was like a little kiss uh -huh. camera time. So, well, Alex, uh, you know, thanks for stopping by, letting us stop by today. My favorite question, my favorite part is, is you you know, loving Fort Smith out loud, we've kind of hit on that, but you know, what is your favorite thing to do? How do you love Fort Smith out loud and something that, that you like? I know you're a runner and things like that, but what's something that you do to love Fort Smith out loud? You know, just enjoying it. Yeah, take your family out, uh, spend time with your family uh, whenever they're, you're not at work and whenever they're not working. Spend time with the family, mm -hmm. enjoy it, go outside, do something. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's always good when it's 30 degrees that you have at home and, and yes, stay yes. warm. Mm -hmm. But enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, just go outside and enjoy it. And enjoy it out loud. Mm -hmm. and, and let people know about it. That's, that's kind of what I started doing is, is I wanted people to know that I'm having a good time. I'm, I'm enjoying where I live. I'm loving where I live out, you know, loving that's where right. I live out loud. And, uh, and what a great place to do it. Yeah. Right. 
All right, well, that's this episode of Forge Without Loud. We'll be coming to you next. That's right, you. We're pointing at you. We'll be at you next. So no, on the left. The person oh, on the left. That guy. Oh, yeah. right there. No, no, you in the back, yeah. Uh, but we'll be doing this again. Alex, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Randy. All right. Thanks, We're going to love Forge Smith. You, We're going to love it out loud. Until the next time, uh, keep it cool. Wait, hang on. I'm going to end. I'll, I'll practice on how I was going to end this. Um, uh, oh. Um. <laughs> no, I had it. It was perfect. <laughs>